Welcome back to Marketing Champions here on Daily Ad Brief. I'm Howard Walpuff, your host. Again, we're talking about marketing with marketing experts from around the country. And today we're in Los Angeles with James and Gracia from Oxford Road. And James, welcome to our conversation today. Thank you, Howard. Thanks for having me. Well, we're excited to have you here and learn a lot more about you. So why don't we start with how did you get started in the marketing industry? Um, I got started in the marketing industry um, working in radio for basically my whole career. Um, Moved out to LA a few years ago and started working here at Oxford Road, which is a media agency where we connect our clients to the best media assets that drive direct response performance for their brands. Which is very important because you want to get these products into a captive audience when they're paying attention and they can be responsive. So what are you finding are the best ways to do that these days? So our agency predominantly works in audio meaning podcasts, radio, satellite radio, streaming, even smart speakers um, are becoming an emerging technology. But pretty much everything we do is rooted in audio. We do do some CTV um, and some digital on the side, but about 95% of our work is on audio and it's all direct response, meaning anytime there's a budget that gets spent, there are performance metrics that have to be met to, to justify those dollars. And it's a very good way to, to measure how your spend is going because it's really based on results. Sometimes when you're buying a media plan, you're buying a certain amount of spots and dots and you're hoping for results and you're basing it on the purchase price from the, the radio station or based on GRPs. Here, you're really basing it on results. Correct. And that's um, a, a common misnomer with, in the industry here is that you'll often see some Brands who think that they're doing performance, and if you look at their list of podcasts that they buy, they are just buying the top 10, top 20 podcasts that you might see on the Apple podcast charts. So bigger is not always better. Just because you're reaching a mass amount of people doesn't mean that it's actually going to perform for your brand. And what our agency does is dive very deep into the podcast list. I mean, there's 4 million podcasts out there. And so our team uses our own, own nearly 10 years of cross-client data, a whole bunch of different tools in the industry. Um, and just kind of learning more about the strategy behind what makes these brands tick. And we develop a plan that goes very deep. And you might be on a very small show, but it may be one of your top performers because you know that you're reaching that perfect audience. And that really is the case. And, and the ability to do things now very differently. You go back 30 years or so, the, these opportunities really aren't out there. And now you have so many different options and you can get creative and you can really spend your budget dollars wisely all about getting the results. And this type of advertising really does hit the spot. It really does. And even in the last two years or so, attribution's always been a little bit of a mystery. Um, and we, you know, we here as a direct response agency have pretty much perfected how we measure podcasts, but the advent of pixel tracking has really become um, a hot topic over the last two years. Um, as you know, Spotify uh, just acquired two of the major pixel tracking companies, PodSites and Chartable. And so that leaves two other leaders in the industry that we work with predominantly to really make sure that we are tracking who is listening to the podcast or who gets served that ad and what actions they take for a finite window after exposure. It's really amazing that you can track these people who are listening and clicking and moving, and it really does help make the right decisions for a company to where they can spend their dollars, but also for you to really show, here's the successes, let's keep building on these successes and, and really drive the, the right type of revenues and sales from this type of messaging in these specific audience uh, opportunities. Correct. Yeah. I mean, Pixel has been a really big, great way that we can track podcasts. We still rely on the old tried and trues, like the custom vanity URLs or promo codes that we might use, or even surveys that you may, after you go through a purchase, be asked, how did you hear about us? Um, and certain companies have very top layer where you may, may just hear or join the radio or join a podcast. And some more advanced um, technology allows you to go deeper to actually identify the show or the channel you listen to. So when you take the survey and you take a promo code and you take a pixel, you have a really great way to triangulate results. And that's kind of, that's what we do here for our clients. Well, it's clear that data really gives you answers and digging into that data and utilizing the data wisely really can determine success for your clients. So we really thank you for sharing everything that you're doing and for joining us today. No problem. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure.
And thank you all for joining us as well. I think really digging into the data, really knowing where successes are and opportunities are is very important. It really helps make decisions of better places to put your advertising dollars and with the expectation of real success coming out from that spend. So there's a lot more information about Oxford Road here in Daily Abbey, so please check that out. But go and have a great rest of today, and we'll see you next time on Marketing Champions. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.